Yo guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'll show you guys my inventory. A lot of people were asking that didn't know my inventory, how it looked like, and what was in it. And I guess not everybody's watching my stream, but yeah, if you if you want to see more of my inventory and of myself, make sure to watch my streams uh, on Twitch. But if you don't want to, I'm gonna just show you my inventory right now, right here, uh, and go through basically everything. Okay, but let's just get started with the pistols for the CT site. So, for the USPS, I have a few actually. I have a USPS Guardian stat track with some Cato 15 stickers. The main one is the Flipside Tactics Holo. I really like that one. One of my favorite stickers in the game. The Holo effect looks stunning. But yeah, um, I don't use that one right now. I use those two target acquired. Uh, that, I tried to up for that one in a video a while back and I hit it and that was quite lucky so yeah um, and I bought that one because I really didn't think I would hit that trade up and crafted some Nemigan stickers onto, the, onto your holos from the new RMR capsule um, but yeah overall nice PS. I also have um, a P250 red frag cam uh, that one is just there, so I have a P2000 skin, it has a Cato 14 sticker, nothing too special, it's not too expensive, it looks kind of decent, but it's nothing too special. Uh, and I also have this USPS Night Ops, I just bought that from a guy because of that, those cool kawaii killer, sticker, uh, kawaii killer stickers, um, and I like anime, so kind of had to buy it, but I don't use it. For the dualies, right now I only have anodized navies with some anime stickers. I think they look fine. I had some cobalt strikes before, but I sold them because I don't use the dualies, and I'm fine with those to be honest. They look quite nice. They're kind of old, and yeah, they're decent. Uh, for the P250, I have a Star Trek cassette with some anime stickers. They look pretty decent. I like the whole effect on them. Um, the P2 P250 is unfortunately battle scar so it kind of looks speed up but i'm fine with it but actually the main one i use is this my muertos p250 it has a flip side tactic sticker as well looks very clean um and yeah for the 57 i have nothing special i only have this 57 urban hazard with three um fanatic 2015 cato stickers they're not too expensive but it looks pretty nice i think like the red and the yellow contrast looks pretty nice to me and i don't use the 57 anyway so i'm pretty fine with that one for the deagle something a bit more expensive now a desert eagle blaze with bell skirt holo stickers i think that craft looks very amazing i did that myself i really like it um but yeah nothing much to say about it it's just a blaze with holo stickers I also have this deagle, nothing too special, didn't craft that, I bought that for market. But yeah, um, CT pistols, basically the same, just the uh, Glock and the Tech 9 change. But yeah, with the Glock I have this beautiful Twilight Galaxy with some Kawaii Killer Sticker CT. Looks very nice in my opinion, really like it. And I also have this, another anime craft. I have this one, I really like that one, I crafted on myself. Um, had it for a while and I really like the green with the craft as well. Another anime craft because why not? For the Tech 9 we have an Isaac, pretty pretty well known skin. But it has another flipside tactic sticker, so that's why it's a bit more expensive than the usual. And it looks pretty nice to me. We're done with the pistols, let's go to the SMGs. Okay, so let's start with the T side SMGs. For the Mag 10, I have a discotheque, very battle scarred. I don't know why, but I started collecting battle scarred, very battle scarred Mag 10s. Uh, discotheque, Mag 10, with a 0.98 float. Pretty high. Not the highest, but it's it's a pretty high float. You can see that pretty well. I also have the number 4 gold brick right now with a float of 0 0.6997. It's capped at 0 0.7. So it's a pretty, pretty high float gold break. Pretty happy that I picked that up for market. Uh, and yeah, it looks kind of shit, but that's the main reason I got it. 
I also have the Carnivore in Battle Skirt with a 0.9995 float. Also a very high float. Uh, I really like that one, actually. It looks kind of cool in Battle Skirt. It's very dark. And I slapped some Lambda stickers on there because why not? For the MP7, I don't use the MP5, so I don't have a skin for it. I have still the same skin. I think I also had that in the very first inventory review I did. This skin is just iconic. I had it for such a long time. I really like it. And yeah, nothing much to say about it. It's just. Blood Sports that track skill test, I think. So, yeah, very cool. For the UMP, I have Labyrinth stat track. I think it was Factory New Factory New, exactly. With Picado 15 Virtus Pro sticker. Really like the sticker. I mainly got it because of the sticker. You, you might see that I do really use the weapon. The sticker fits quite well with the Labyrinth pattern, like the color. And that's why I got it, basically. Looks kind of nice. For the P90, the best weapon in the game, I have my blind spot with a health sticker. I had that one in the last review too, I think. Very iconic P90, for me at least. Really like it. And yeah, nothing much to say about it. It's just cool to have a health sticker on a P90 because that's like the biggest spot for any sticker. For the PP Bison. We have the high, high roller. I am a former gambler. I'm not gambling that much anymore. Well, yeah, um, kind of have to have it if you gambled before. So yeah, uh, just a nice looking skin. I like it. Nothing much to say about it. Slap the sticker onto that and just to check how it looks. I don't really know if I like it. I might scrape it off. Uh, scrape it off soon. But I don't know. Let us continue with the CT SMGs. The only thing that changes is the MP9. I just have an air, air lock, nothing special, not too expensive. It's like, I don't know, $2 or something. Just looks nice. I don't use that weapon. I mainly use MP7, MP90. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just got it because the white looks kind of cool. Okay, let's go th to the rifles then. Uh, the rifles get more exciting, not gonna lie, because most of my money sits on the rifles, I think. But yeah. Um, Let's just go through them. For the FAMAS, I have the commemoration. Very nice looking FAMAS, very shiny and gold. It just screams, please buy me. I am expensive. It's not even too expensive to be honest. Like It looks more expensive than it actually is. Uh, but yeah, very detailed, very nice looking skin. Really like it. Um, probably the best FAMAS skin in the game right now, for me at least. For the M4, I have... A guardian with a crown, pretty nice. And an Icarus Fell, that's the one I'm using right now. I'm not playing M4A4, that's why I don't have a skin for it. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about switching back to M4, but right now I just prefer playing with A1S. For the SSG, I have a Dragon Fire. Nothing too special, just a Dragon Fire. I think minimal wear? Field tested, never mind. Um, yeah. I don't really play SSG too often, that's why I just have a dragon fire. Looks nice. Nothing much to, to complain about if you have that. It's decent. But now for the AUG, I have an Akiha Akihabara except. Very iconic, very old skin from the Rising Sun collection. Very expensive. This one is well worn. But yeah, that was the AUG. Let's go to probably the creme de la creme of my inventory, the AV piece. For the AV piece, I have two very iconic ones and the other ones are kind of decent too. Um, I have an AVP Medusa Quad OG Goldcraft. I just did that recently and I think it looks very, very nice. In general, the Medusa looks nice, but with the gold stickers, even better. Kind of looks like a souvenir, but I don't, I don't know. It j it's just such a nice AVP. I really like it. I'm happy that I did that craft. Um, yeah, it's a Medusa. What else do I have to say? Um, for the T site, I have an even better AVP. A lot of people would say it's better. Other people will say the Medusa's better. But yeah, uh, we don't have to argue about that because I have both. Um, an AVP Dragon Lore. Also with four OG 
gold stickers. Very nice craft. It kind of ruins the dragon a bit, but I don't care. I just wanted to have the OG craft. I just like the OG sticker a lot because it has the red, red Bull logo and I love Red Bull. And in general, the OG logo, logo looks kind of nice. So yeah, that's why I mainly crafted it. Very nice looking EVP. It's well worn. Everyone is well worn too. But still, very expensive EVPs. I also have a Silk Tiger. I got that from a trade up. Uh, and field tested. Kind of decent field tested. Um, yeah, it looks kind of cool. I'm not, I'm not using it because I have those two AVPs. But yeah, also very cool AVP. I also have an AVP Swing Camel. I also got that from a trade up. Uh, pretty expensive AVP. Considering it looks like shit. It's like $60 or something. I'm not sure, but it's very expensive. Um, but yeah, it, it just looks, looks like shit. I also have two default AVPs with some stickers. Uh, I just did those crafts because I just wanted to see how the stickers look. And I want to feel the pain in like two years when those stickers get expensive. If they ever get expensive, but it would be kind of cool. I also have that one. Same thing with that one. Just a stupid idea I had. <clears throat> for the scar, nothing, spe nothing special. Uh, I had something better. I think I had a blood sport, but I sold it, and I didn't really see a point in getting getting a good scar skin again because I don't use the scar anyways. Tanfos collection looks like a default actually, uh, but yeah, that's it with the CT rifles. Let's go to the T, T rifles then. Um, not that many things changed, but yeah, uh, Galil, PD splat lights. I think I had a sugar rush before and I got that one because I just think it looks cooler than the sugar rush um very vibrant very bright skin looks very nice with my Pandora's box gloves but we'll get to those in a, in a second um I think it was minimal wear yeah it looks very clean cool skin also an investment I guess for the AK I have a fire serpent some people hate it some people love it I love it it looks very nice. Probably, my, yeah, my favorite AK in the game right now. Might get an X-ray soon when they drop in price a bit, but I'm not sure about that one yet. But for now, I'll keep the fire serpent. Looks very nice. Has a splice craft and a headhunter on the wood. Very iconic. Very nice looking. I like it. Also, I have this Vulcan. I crafted those counter logic stickers onto it. The Titan stickers were already on it, so yeah, kind of, kind of looks cool. I like the, I like the colors. Um, but nothing too special. I, I don't really use that weapon or that skin. For the SG, I have a colony. I don't, I don't play SG, uh, SG five five three. It's just, yeah, the skin is just there to, 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 like, complete the loadout. I like the skin, but I don't like the weapon. It just shoots weird. That's why. I, don't use it. Pretty cheap skin. Looks good for the price though. And uh, yeah, that's basically my SG. For the G3 SG1, they have a green apple. Uh, I think I still have that because I had a green themed inventory once and didn't really get a new G3 because it's useless. Uh, I don't use the weapon, nobody really does, so why should I have a skin for it? Yeah, but that th those were the rifles in my inventory. Um, let's get to the heavies. For the Nova, I have a Bloomstick Star Trek Anime Craft. Really like that one of the stickers is up there where you can barely see it. But yeah, um, a pretty decent Nova. I actually use the Nova quite often. It's a very old one, Esports 2014 capsule. Um, but yeah, nice looking. Nova, I really like it. For the XM, we have the Ancient Lore, also from a trade up. Um, I just have that as an investment. Looks kind of nice, very clean. For the Max 7, I actually have no skin. Uh, that's kind of embarrassing. So I don't have a full loadout. Uh, but I don't use it. I think I gave away my, my last skin, the Max 7 Justice. So, yeah. Props to me for giving away my only Max 7 skin. Um, into for nine system log probably still the same. I, I never touch that skin. I don't sell it. I don't buy a new one because the weapon just sucks. <laughs> Nobody uses it. 
yeah uh, Negev though power loader use that once in a while the skin looks nice um, for the CT site we have a sawed off limelight with an NIP armor sticker but yeah let's go let us first go to gloves because there are not that many gloves and yeah I have emerald webs field tested they look kind of cool um, they look very good with my fair serpent and with my d lore um, other than that they're just nice looking gloves and also have Pandora box Pandora's box gloves um, those actually are my favorite gloves right now and I want to get better conditions though because they're kind of beat up but still they're very expensive for battle scar to even and for now I'm satisfied with it uh, graffitis if you don't know it yet, I have the highest record for remaining graffiti sprays right now. Or I had, I don't know, I still have had 50,000 sprays. And I, I looked around and nobody else had over 50,000, so I just assumed that nobody did that before. Um, but yeah. I said, I already said that the, the, the creme de la creme was my AVP section, but probably my knives because I have a lot of knives. And if you follow my Twitter or my streams, you might have heard that I'm collecting every single knife. And I did that. So yeah, let's go to Mel Melee's. We have every single knife at least once, and that's kind of cool. You can just say, oh, today I want to play with a skeleton. I can just do it because I have it. Uh, and I can do that with every knife, basically. But yeah, let's go through them. For the Karambit, I have a freehand stat track field tested looks nice I like the pattern quite a lot have one kill on it mega stongs M9 I have a braid water not the best looking skin I'll probably get an autotronic soon but for now it's enough I like it and yeah for the Navaha something very special in my opinion a blue gem a lot of people would say, but it's a Navaja, so it's nothing special. To me, it's still special. It's a lot of blue. You don't see those too often. Um, it has some dots, so it's only a second tier. Oh, but it's good enough for me. For the Bayonet, we have the Gamma Doppler Phase 2. With a lot of green, actually. Like, this knife looks so cool. If you can't afford it, an emerald that you want to have something close get yourself a gamma 2 with a lot of green and a clean spine because that looks amazing for the butterfly i have two actually i have my doppler phase 4 that i bought looks very nice very clean and i have this butterfly marble fate that i unbox on christmas uh very happy to unbox that it has a red tip looks very nice and the like somebody in chat told me that once it has a fire nice spine I don't know if that's anything special if you know more about that probably not um, let me know in the comments but yeah uh, looks cool I like it pretty happy that I unboxed that um, oh I have to hurry otherwise this recording will be long as fuck um, I'll also have a classic knife crimson web with a decent web if you'll test it Damascus steel Ursus knife Bowie knife tiger tooth Felsha knife stained. This one looks like shit, actually. Uh, flip knife lore. Looks kind of cool. Uh, black laminate gut knife. Huntsman knife knight. That one actually is a letdown. It looked way better on buff uh, on the like little picture. I just took it for that and bought it. And I received this one, and uh, yeah, kind of disappointing. It looks like shit. I might upgrade that at some point. Um, then we have this Navaja Rust Coat. I'll probably give that one away on my Twitter soon, so make sure to check that out. Uh, no one I've stained. A parkour blue steel. Shadow Dagger, some Marble Fates. They actually look kind of cool. Very vibrant, very bright. Skeleton Knife Night Stripe. Actually, for battle skirt, very clean. And uh, yeah, if you want to have a uh, if you want to have a skeleton knife, go for that one because it's one of the cheapest and looks the nicest. Stiletto 
Nice, ultraviolet, field test it. Survival knife slaughter. Actually, I had a poor survival knife before, but I really liked the like the animation of the survival. And in general, I, I like it more than before, and that's why I upgraded to slaughter. And I think it looks very nice and very clean. Even though it's only minimal well, field test it even. Very clean for that. And last but not least, Talon Knife Night Stripe. I'm gonna get like a fade for that one soon. But yeah, um, that's basically my inventory, or all the skins I'm using. Um, I also have some investments and stuff, if you want to see me go through those at some point I'll do that in a separate video if you want to. If you want to see that, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. But yeah, this is pr pretty much it, hope you liked it, goodbye.